Let's do it. Okay, I'm Larry Avinsky, subbing for Rabbi John today. I think the first thing we should do, like she would do, is let's all take a deep breath. And with that, I'd like to introduce, call up Leanne Avinsky to do the candle blessing. Thank you, Leanne. And now I'm going to call up Cole Levinsky of the Kiddish, if you will turn to page 167. And if I didn't mention, we're doing service three. Yes, sorry. Yes. Call us to holiness, the mitzvah of Shabbat, sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work, and of our liberation from Egyptian bondage, our days of day, our day of days. On Shabbat especially, we hearken to call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Oh, that's the mitzvah. We got some extra. Where is the? Oh, okay. Yes, you're right. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Borei Peri Hagafen. We praise you, Eternal God, Sovereign of the Universe, Creator of the fruit of the vine. I'm going to drink in spirit because it doesn't look like it's been refilled in the water. Thank you very much. And now we will turn to page 83. 83. Eternal God, who may abide in your house? Who may dwell in your holy mountain? Those who are upright, who do justly, all whose hearts are true. Who do not slander others, nor wrong them, nor bring shame upon their kin. Who give their word, and come what may, do not retract. Who do not exploit others, who never take bribes. Those who live in this way shall never be shaken. These are days when we seek material things and measure failure by what we do not own. On Shabbat, we wish not to acquire, but to share. These are days we exploit nature with reckless greed. On Shabbat, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. These are days when we think only of our si- ourselves. On Shabbat, we open our hearts to the needs of others. Therefore, we welcome Shabbat, day of rest, rest day, day of joy, day, joy, day, day of, of peace. peace. Shalom, Malachi, Shalom, Malachi, Elion, Mi Melech, Malachi, Amlachim, Hakadosh, 
Please join me on page 85. The synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel, born of our longings for the living God. It has been to Israel throughout our wanderings a visible token of the presence of God and our people's myth. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast it has stood as a champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people. As it has been said, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Please rise for the Kaddish. Yiskadav Yiskadash Meirba, Bama, Devrach, Ruse, Yimlof, Machuse, Bachaye, Verhon, Vaho, Deis, Bais, Yisrael, Bagala, Uzman, Biakirov, Yimru, Main, Yahispain, Ravak, Lama, Lamela, Maya, Yisparach, Yisabav, Yisparach, Yisma, Yisase, Yisadir, Yisalal, Tehilel, Shmeda Kudisha, Briku. Leila, Minko, Rahasa, Tehrasa, Shibhasa, Tehrasa, Benachmasa, O God, how can we know you? Where we find you, you are as close to us as breathing, yet you are farther than the furthermore star. You are as mysterious as the vast solitudes of night, yet as familiar to us as the light of the sun. To Moses you said, You cannot see my face, but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Even so does your goodness pass before us in the realm of nature and the joys of life. When justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion, we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness. Then your goodness enters our lives, and we can begin to change the world. And then you live within our hearts, and we through righteousness behold your presence. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eskim, Kadoshim, Lokim, Ani, and the Noyal Haim, Ashir Hosesim, Eshem, Meirs, Mishraim, Lokhados, Lokhaim, Lokhim, Ani, and the Noyal Haikim. With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being, set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. Now we'll do responsive reading. I, the eternal one, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you, I have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. We are Israel, witness to the covenant between God and God's children. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God, and you shall be my people. We are Israel. Our Torah forbids the worship of race or nation, possessions or power. You who worship gods that cannot save you, hear the words of the Eternal One, I am God, there is none else. 
We are Israel. Our prophets proclaimed an exalted vision for the world. Hate evil and love. What is good? Let justice well up as waters, and righteousness is a mighty stream. We are Israel, schooled in the suffering of the oppressed. You shall not oppress your neighbors, nor rob them. You shall not stand idle where your neighbor bleeds. We are Israel, taught to beat swords into plowshares, commanded to pursue peace. Violence should no longer be heard in your land, desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children will be taught of your God, and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, O God, when we are witnesses to your love and messengers of your truth. You are my witness, says the Eternal One, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me, therefore, and put your trust in me. We are Israel, O God, when we proclaim you, God, our Redeemer, as did our ancestors on the shores of the Red Sea. song and I wish I could play the guitar. <laughs> May we lay down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. O oh God, spread over us your shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, and bless us with rest. And let a time come when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish, a time of happiness or commitment and rest. Bishem Ru Vinay Yisrael as a Shabbos la Sos, as a Shabbos la Doram, Baris Olam, Binyan Vinay Bene Yisrael, as Hili Olam, Kishishos, Emeos Asa, Adonoi, as a Shemayam, Vesorez, Bayom Hasvi, Shivas, Unavishis. And now, if you will please rise on page 93 to the Amida, Adonoi, Shevatais, Tifitua, Ufais, Yagi, Tehila Sacha. Avat. I think we're on the Vishnu Ru on ninety two. Okay. Vishem Ruven Israel Et HaShabbat Lasot Et HaShabbat L'Dorot HaMerit Olam Beni Uvein Bine Israel Oti Le'olam Oti Le'olam Oti Asa Adonai, Asa Adonai, et Hashamayim, et Haaretz, Vishameru, Vene Israel, et Hashabat, La Sot, et Hashabat, Le Dorotam, Berit Olam, Uvayom Hashvi. Shabbat fa'ina fash, Shabbat fa'ina fash, Shabbat fa'ina fash. 
God of all generations of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, of Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, be praised. The wonder of creative powers fills heaven and earth. God of life and death, be praised. Through us, send help to the falling, healing to the sick, freedom to the captive. Confirm your faithfulness to those who sleep in the dust. Awesome and holy God, be praised with acts of love and truth. We hail your name as it is said. Be holy, for I, your eternal God, am holy. God of times and seasons, be praised. Enable us through Sabbath rest to explore and learn and impart the meanings of your Torah. Make our hearts ready to serve you this day and all days. Everybody, please take a seat. Page 96. God who answers prayers, be praised. May we, your people, Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayers. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you in this land, in Zion, restored, in all lands, you are our God. Source of life and its wonders, be praised. <laughs> Shalom, ya ase shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Our hearts and prayers now turn to all who are ill, recuperating, coping with war or natural disasters, dealing with consequences of COVID-19 or confinement, or the recent death of, death of loved ones. Please turn to the inside back covers. And would anybody here like to share somebody that is ill? We'll say a special, we'll say a prayer for. We'll include them in our prayers. And I'm also going to add Carolina Vinsky. Let's turn to the back cover. O oh God, in our hearts, we name those who are facing illness and pain. We join our prayers with the prayers of all who love them. Give them renewed comfort and courage. Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed with us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them and to their dear ones. May they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. Baruch atah ananoi, rofei aholim. Praise you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. On behalf of our military police, firefighters, EMT, doctors, nurses, and veterans, Mr. Baruch Avatanu v. Amatanu. May the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those who have been trusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom, protecting us, our healing us, in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they have been called. Give them courage to succeed in strength. May they return home and let us say, Amen. I'm going to say a prayer for the folks in Ukraine. Holy One, source of strength, war has begun and innocent people are dying. We ask your protection for Ukraine and its citizens. We pray for their safety and the security of the country. May this terrible war be diffused swiftly with minimum casualties. May Hungary, Poland, and other neighboring countries be moved to open their borders and provide safe passage for those who wish to evacuate. Bless our world leaders with the ability to work together for the greater good and the wisdom to make wise decisions during this turbulent time. 
Bless the people of all nations with the desire, strength, and courage to create a world based on justice and filled with peace. We seek the comfort of believing that everything will be all right. Yet it is hard to hold on to hope in the face of insurmountable odds. May the words of Isaiah, nation shall not lift sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore become true in our day in this very hour. Source of goodness, shine your healing light on us and those in the Ukraine we hold in our hearts. Shelter us, shield us, show us the path to peace. And now I'm going to give you a few words of inspiration. We'll try to. This week marks the first week we read from the book of Leviticus, which according to the Torah, aims to shape the Israelites into a holy people and to safeguard the purity that it considers essential for contact with the holy. This is an inter interesting juxtaposition with the fact this week is also Shabbat Zachor, Shabbat Remembrance, which is Shabbat directly preceding Purim, a holiday we celebrate with parties and revelry. What do we remember on this Shabbat of Remembrance? The answer can be found in the Mofter additional reading, which recounts the attack of the Amalekites on the weakest of the Israelites during their journey in the wilderness. The Torah proclaims, Remember what Amalek did to you on your journey after you left Egypt, how undeterred by fear of God he surprised you on the march, and when you were famished and weary and cut down all the stragglers in your rear. Therefore, when your God, Adonai, grants you safety from all your enemies around you, ye shall blot out the memory of a mullock from under heaven. Do not forget, a mullock is set up as a mighty villain and an evil foe who must be vanquished for the good of all. We find these same sentiments in the special half Torah portion for the week, which talks of one of King Saul's military campaigns. God proclaims, I remember what Amalek did to Israel, attacked them on their way as they went up out of Egypt. Go now and attack Amalek, consign all that have to destruction, spare no one, but kill them. At this command, King Saul attacks the Amaleks and is victorious, but all is not well. It turns out that Saul did not in fact follow God's commandment to the letter. Instead, Saul took Agag, king of Amalek, alive, while putting all the rest of the people to the sword. But Saul and his men spared Agag, and the best of the sheep, and the oxen, the fatlings, and the lamb, and whatever had value. They were unwilling to destroy them. They consigned to, destruct, to destruction only what was despised and useless. When the Tanakh gives no reason why Saul spared Agag, Saul says that he spared the best animals because he was planning on offering them is sacrificed to God. However, when pressed, Saul eventually admits that he spared the good stuff because he caved to pressure, to peer pressure. The soldiers wanted the spoils of war. Saul was afraid of the troops. Although, although Saul repented for not fully implementing God's harsh to the Greek, this episode precipitates Saul's downfall and eventual replacement with David becoming the new king of the Israelites. But that still is not the end of this generation's long struggle between the Israelites and the Amalekites. In the scroll of Esther, we are told explicitly five times to remove any doubt that Haman is an Agagite. That is described, that is descended from Agag, king of the Amalekites. Mordecai is a descendant of Saul. The Talmud, as well as other rabbinic literature, reinforces this link by saying that Esther, too, was a descendant of Saul. This information casts the story of Purim in a new light. The Purim native narrative instead becomes another episode in this centuries-long conflict with a mullet, possibly all preventable had Saul not eventually had not initially spared Agag and his descendants. As contemporary readers, we all know there are problematic passages in the Torah. We are accustomed to the idea of interpreting our text and gleaning the kernels of truth from our stories rather than always taking them literally. This, while no one would advocate the complete destruction of a people as Saul was instructed to do, 
We can extrapolate from this episode an indictment of evil. We must be committed to eradicate evil to seeing this task through its completion. Solid shows leave the job incomplete. But as incomplete action eliminate only some evil, Sal created the condition for evil to recover and come back stronger than ever. Rather than a directive to destroy enemies, we can interpret the story of Saul and the Moloch and its sequel in the Megillah as a reminder that we must be fully committed to our pursuit of justice. We must stop all evil where it is in whatever forms it takes. We must stand up for ourselves and for our neighbors when those with evil intent would do us harm. I'm not trying to get political, but this certainly sounds a lot like we're talking about Russia. We can fight evil in many ways. How we choose to spend our money, what causes we donate to, what we tell our children, where we go, what forms of entertainment we patronize, who we support, when and where we demonstrate and protest, those are always ways we engage in the social and economic combat of evil in our modern age. But just like Saul, we need to be worried of leaving our task half done. It is difficult to keep up the fight when others in the social circle tell us that we've done enough, or even that we shouldn't be acting at all. We need to be wary of making excuses that the job is too difficult or we're too busy or powerless. If we avoid taking action, we run the risk of the same pitfall that Saul felt, that Saul fell into, allowing evil the opportunity to make a comeback. It is our obligation to be vigilant. We do not want to shift the burden to our descendants. We must all do what we can in our own day to make this world a better place. President Kathy, will you come up and do the announcements? <laughs> well, we're all ad living. A, a little humor, always. Oh, let's see. Larry, I had the exact same thoughts. How fitting that the Torah portion you could relate to with what's going on today, and, it, and it's unfortunate. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Larry. And the rest of your family, Cole and Leanne, for helping us lead the service this evening while Rabbi is officiating at a, at a wedding in New Orleans. There will not be a Zoom Onik Shabbat tonight. We'll be lucky to get home and not flood. There will be Torah study in the morning. There will not be Torah study in the morning, but Rabbi John ha does have a YouTube Shabbat morning service, which will begin at 11 a.m., the prayer book is on screen. The Purim Carnival will be at B'nai Zion from 10.30 to 1 this Sunday. There will be food and fun. Most of the events will be outside, so dress warm. There is a commandment for Purim that you are supposed to be so happy that you cannot tell the difference between blessing Mordecai or cursing Haman. Boo. <laughs> The carnival will provide fun games and hot dogs for the kids and adult beverages and other treats for the adults. We appreciate the North Louisiana Jewish Federation for sponsoring this fun event for the Jewish community. This Monday, March 14th, we will have limited office hours. Please call ahead before you come. Rabbi Jana's classes begin this week. It is not too late to join her. If you do not want to, if you do not want to learn conversational prayer book or biblical Hebrew right now, everyone in the ethical dilemmas from a Jewish perspective discussion group encourages you to at least sit in on the class. Is that very... <laughs> anyway, they had a really wonderful discussion this past week. Check the website for details. Contact Rabbi if you want to try out the class. Quorum Shabbat will be next Friday, March 18th. Rabbi Jana has some fun and clever things planned again this year to help us celebrate Shabbat and Purim. 
Hadassah Shabbat is scheduled for Friday, March 25th at B'nai Zion. Watch for details about the Hadassah Shower of Dollars as well. And I believe we're going to have an Onik Shabbat that night here. B'nai Zion is having a Passover Seder Friday, April 15th. All of the details are on the website. The reservation form is on the website as well. Reservation forms will be available at the Purim Carnival on Sunday. No reservations will be accepted after April 1st. Donations were made to B'nai Zion's Sisterhood Flower Fund in loving memory of Larry Avinsky leading the service by our sisterhood. Shabbat Shalom and take the flowers home with you. <laughs> Would you be so kind as to help me open up the aura and everybody be, turn to I'll page 148 for the Elena and rise. You spread out the heavens and establish the earth. You are our God and there's none else. In truth, you alone are our sovereign God. It is written, Know then this day and take it to heart. The eternal one is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none else. Eternal God, we face the morrow with hope made stronger by the vision of your deliverance, a world where poverty and war are banished, where injustice and hate are gone. Teach us more and more to respond to the pain of others, to heed your call for justice, that we may bring nearer the day when all the world shall be one. On that day, the age-old dream shall come true. On that day, O oh God, you shall be one, and your name shall be one. seated page 151 our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth our own loved ones those whom our friends and neighbors have lost the martyrs of our people and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity as we remember them let us meditate on the meaning of love loss life and death and We remember those who your site observed during this past week. Carol Birchfield, Mabel Frank Bodenheimer, Marion Burstein, Samuel Dreyfus, Henry Elaine Dreyfus, Sarah A. Greenberg, Julius S. Kahn, Sadie Katz, Charles Lipo, Nan Levy, Ray E. Levy, Pauline Epson, Solomon L. Meyer, David Miller, Dora Mowerman, Hugo Nagy, Peggy W. Owens, Benjamin Rambach, Hilda W. Roth, Bernice Kresman Schuwolf, Bernard Segal, Henry Sandhouse, Henry Sarah Wiseman, and Hannah Cohen Weiss. However brief may be our time on earth, O God, you endure our fleeting days with abiding words. We now recall the loved ones whose deaths have taken from us, and as we remember those who died this season years past, we thank them in our hearts with our own 
in this moment of memory. And I don't think I know I have a list of active yurt sites, I'm sorry to say. Let's turn to page 154 for the Kaddish, if you'll please rise. Yiskadav, Yiskadash, Meirba, Emma, Devraha, Kuruse, Yimloch, Machuse, Bechayen, River Machin, Deho, Deho, Beit Yisra, Bagla, as one Kurov, Brim, Remain, Yehis, Meirava, Hava, Lemam, Ulamea, Maya, Yisparach, Yisabab, Yisparab, Yisraman, Yisase, Yisadar. Riku. Lailamin ko bracha shetza tisparasa v'nechamasa demem b'lima v'im ramei yehis l'mar raba miyam v'chayim aleni v'elko yisrael v'im ramei osha shalom b'rama v'yasa shalom aleni elko yisrael v'im ramei. And for our closing hymn, I'm going to go a little off script. Oh, I'm sorry. You may everybody take a seat. Um, I'm going to do a don't alum, and the reason being, when I was growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, in the Barrenhurst Synagogue, we had thousands of people in a two-hour-long service. When they sang the don't alum, you knew the service was just about over. So I've always enjoyed that song. Follow along if you can. I don't know, Lum, I sure my lock. The terrim co, yitzir nivra. Lies nasa, bachasa co. As I melech, shemo nigra. Viaha re, kiklosa co. Levado, yimloch no ra. Vuhu ha ya, hovu ho ve. Yehu yecha, besifara. Vuhu ain hud, vyechani. The half shield low, the half be raw, believe racist, believe tackless, the low hoes, the hum is raw, the who ain't leave the high goalie, it's sore heavily, be a so raw, the who needs see the mostly, but I say you see, be yo mekra, be out of key, rahi be ace, he sound be rough, be in ruchi, yes, see a d, the low era. Sorry, my voice is not quite as good as Rabbi Jana, but I, I try. If everybody would please stand up for the closing benediction. Adonai az lamo yitin Adonai na ya vevorach et amo v'shalom. God, please give strength to your people. God, please bless your people with peace. And with that, I'm going to say Shabbat Shalom.